um, season four, you know, continues to be the dreamiest job in all the land as an actor. Um, and that's a testament to Dan Fogelman and the world he's created and our incredible writers who somehow managed to top themselves episode by episode and season by season. Um, you know, to be able to portray this woman again, as we've seen now from like 16 and 17 years old, all the way to, you know, her mid eighties. This year and this season in particular is, is interesting because as her life starts to unfold more and more and we see these, we see sort of a more crystallized version and um, idea of what her life is at certain chapters, we've really sort of dug into, you know, the post Jack years, the, you know, the, the eight, nine months and year after he's passed away and Randall's gone off to school, Kevin's moved to New York and gotten married. <laughs> And Rebecca has gotten out of the sort of temporary apartment that she lived in with the kids um, and with Kate specifically and moved into like their new home. She's realized she has to get a job. She's sort of starting to ground herself again and realize that life does move on and she has to move on. And it doesn't mean that she can't sort of work through the stages of grief. That's something that's gonna be a part of her life for the rest of her life. But she has to, for the sake of herself and her kids and her own identity, you know, move forward. And, um, it's, it's tricky. And I also like that this season we've seen the littlest version of the big three sort of asserting themselves in new ways and Jack and Rebecca not being able to sort of keep up in the way they have in the past. I think they've always, you know, Jack's always sort of flown in as the hero and had a solution for every problem the kids sort of may encounter. And as parents, they were sort of the perfect tag team. But the big three, the little big three, are now at a very specific age as like young adults coming into their own in, in their sort of tween years of not being able to lean on mom and dad and starting to like really look inward for these issues that they're going to deal with as they get older. And we've seen in different, you know, iterations of them, whether they're teenagers and the issues that they also bring into their adult years. So it's fun as an actor to get to play all of those. And obviously everything that's happening with her present day, you know, becoming a grandmother to little baby Jack and moving across the country with Miguel to sort of be there for Kate and to be there for Kevin in a way that she, they, they haven't all lived in the same city since, you know, they were teenagers. So there's big changes afoot, I think, in every chapter of, of Rebecca's life. To be a part of a show four seasons in that still shocks and surprises and sort of takes an emotional toll week after week is is a treat. Um, I don't know how Dan and our writers do it, but they continue to top themselves, <laughs> like episode by episode. Um, we as actors are in on sort of the macro view of what is happening with our characters, but even we are surprised episode by episode. It's like, oh, that's where that that twist is is factoring in. Like we we don't know until we read the scripts too. So and until we actually see the finished product and see the final episode with an audience. Um, I mean, I watch the show as a fan every Tuesday night too because I want to see my friends and their remarkable work. Um, but I too think this season has just, has taken us by surprise and I think clearly taken the audience by surprise as well that, you know, 60 some odd episodes in, we're still able to tell these stories and bring people along on this ride. It's also a testament to the audience that, I mean, they've been willing to go on this journey with us since the very beginning and we're very, very fortunate that we can focus an entire episode on, you know, two characters or or a character that people don't know too much about and you're just as emotionally invested and you feel the universal appeal of what, you know, specific characters are going through and what their story may be, even if you don't, you know, relate to the specifics of it, there's something about our show that just, you know, grabs everyone and forces you to sort of have conversations that are maybe a little bit more difficult than you would want to have. <laughs> But it, it's, it, there's this relatability factor that I think, you know, 60 some odd episodes in, we still, are, we still manage to have. <laughs>